hi guys welcome back to Android tutorial part 7 in the seventh part of this tutorial I am going to explain how to retrieve data from an activity using the intent filter in the previous part of this tutorial you are already see that an activity is calling from another activity by using an intent object and by using the method start activity so there is one more method is present you can see that in the previous example uh, we use the method called start activity for invoking the second activity here is the indent filter and we are using start activity for invoking the next activity so in this part I am going to invoke another activity and I expect some result from the calling activity so here I have to call the activity for getting some result so instead of start activity here I am going to use start activity for result so in order to demonstrate it in details I am all I am again I am using the example that I am already used in the previous ex previous tutorial so in the second layout I am going to place a button and text area here I just delete the text view here I am going to change the orientation as horizontal here I am going to place an edit text edit text with the uh, android layout width uh, is equal to width is equal to 150 density pixels and android layout height is equal to wrap content also here is the android id is equal to plus id text ok now I just place an edit text in the second layout can see that the edit text is present here now I am going to <coughs> place a button here so here I am going to place a button and throw it layout width is equal to wrap content also android layout height also is wrap content now I am going to create an id for this button android id is equal to plus id bn bn is the id for this button also place a text for this button and load id text refer from the string.xml bn name so I have to add the value for the button in the string.xml add a string value bn name submit now you can see that in the graphical layout there is the text view is present here and uh, a submit button is present here now uh, like in the previous example whenever user click on the button on the first layout it will coming to the second activity 
user will enter a string value here and press the submit button then it will automatically uh, go back to the first activity and first activity will receive the result from the second activity and uh, it will perform some action there uh, so here I am going to so in this the Java second Java here is the uh, Java file for the second activity now I have to create object for the edit text and button button bn edit text txt now here is the import for this button okay now I have to link this object to the identifier on the XML file here in the second layout you can see that bn is the identifier identifier for the button resource identifier for the button and uh, text is the resource identifier for edit text so I have to link the link these two uh, bn is equal to find view by id r dot id dot bn I have to cast it to button again I have to link the edit text text is equal to sorry txt is equal to find view by id r dot id dot text I have to cast it yeah txt is the identifier so it's identifier for edit text now you are successfully link this identifier to the object on the second dot java file now I have to create an action listener for the button bn dot set on click listener new view on click listener here I have to import the on click listener sorry here I have to import the on click listener ok whenever user click the second layout whenever user enter some input text here and it uh, he hit the submit button then the result or the value from this edit text will going to or uh, passing to the first activity so in order to do that I have to create an indent filter object here how to create an indent filter object here so here I am just create an indent filter indent data is equal to new indent ok fine now I just create an indent object here also I am just creating a string here string value is equal to txt dot get text dot to string I just got the value from the edit text to the string variable value okay now I have to do some changes in the first Java file here is the first Java file here 
uh, like in the previous example we are also using an intent object here but here we using the start activity here I have to declare one more variable I just an int variable request code I just declare an integer variable request code I just assign the request code value as as 1 I just assign 1 for the request code now I have to start the activity for result there are two arguments are present here first one is the indent object second one is the request code here is the request code okay that's fine a request code is nothing but whenever we call an activity for a result the called activity will return a result back to the calling call calling activity so in order to identify the calling activity whether the result from the exact target activity is got so in order to identify that we using the request code so the by using the request code the calling activity or the activity who call the other activity will know that it got the correct result or it got the result from the called activity so in order to in order to identify that uh, we use the request code so in order to getting the result from the called activity or the target activity we have another method we have to uh, place another method here called public void on activity result we just place another method called on activity result it it have three arguments intent request code int request code int result code also the intent data okay it contain three arguments first one is the request code result code and intent data so here in order to accept the result from the calling activity first how to first we have to check the request code coming from the outside activity matches the request code here so here we using an if loop if request code is equal to request code after doing that we check the result code is exactly equal to result ok if result code is equal to result ok now I have to now I'm going to get the data from the intent so here I am going I am just use a toast for displaying a simple message toast dot make text get base context as text here I am going to get the data data dot get data dot to string and I have said the duration for the toast toast dot length short I just display the toast so okay now we just create on activity result in the calling activity so now I have to do some code segment also do some code segment 
in the target activity also so in order to do that just go to the second java file here we just got the string value from the calling activity string value from the edit text component now i have to pass the value to the indent object for in order to do that i just use the data dot set data there is a method called the uri dot pass i just pass the string here is the value is the string variable okay now i have to set the result to the calling activity in order to do that we use a method called the set to result method set to result method containing two option called result code here the result code is result ok and indent object indent object is result in the here the indent object is data ok now we have to run this project turn us on android application wait for the AVD to fully loaded fully load now AVD is loaded okay now you can see that the project is successfully uh, compiled and the application loaded successfully uh, guys one more thing I miss in this program uh, you have to finish the second activity so here I just pass the data to the calling activity now I have to finish the second activity so in order to finish the second activity we use the finish method okay now uh, again I just run the project again okay now the project is loaded again now I'm going to run it okay here is the next activity button I just press the next activity you can see that the next activity is loaded I just type a string here rubbish and click submit now you can see that the activity is uh, passing to the now you can see that the first activity will appear and it does display the message uh, for again I just clicked it and again print other message welcome again you can see that it will go into the first activity and print the message as it does here okay guys thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial keep subscribe my channel for further video updates